I'm a little bit more casual today, so um, I'm going to go ahead and get started. Hi everyone, my name is Rose, also known as T.A. Summers. Welcome or welcome back to my channel, I should say. Um, I'm a newly minted booktuber, but I'm a longtime book blogger and book enthusiast who likes to share what she likes to read every now and again across a wide array of genres and age groups. So this particular video is a compilation of um, both my September TBR, which is very, very late, and a uh, combination of what I am currently reading at present. So without further ado, let's go ahead and begin. I decided I wanted to do my September TBR in the form of a video because it's a total of like 10 books. And I'm going to walk through um, these one by one. Some of these have been featured in my um, previous videos. But this is my definitive TBR in terms of what I want to finish before the end of the month. So the first thing that I want to feature is a book that has been on many people's anticipated list um, from the beginning of this um, particular year. And I've heard a lot of polarized opinions about it, but I'm still going to try to read it for myself. This is Holly Black's Book of Night. And I got this as a part of my uh, book subscription to Book of the Month. I'm hoping to be able to get through this whole thing um, probably within the next week or so. Um, this is the first book that I have read from Holly Black in a long time. I am very familiar with her um, YA um, novels and I've um, heard about some of her middle grade books, though I have not read that quite yet. This particular book I know is in the vein of fantasy and it's supposed to be an adult title so I'm hoping that I can get to this and see um, what the book is about and if it's something that I may or may not enjoy but you guys will know I'm um, going down the pipeline. So the next book that I'm going to feature is consider an adult sci-fi title that I have been really excited to be able to get to and I recently just picked it up not too long ago from my indie bookstore that um and it's also come out in uh, paperback i was waiting specifically for the paperback to come out because i knew this was a book that i wanted to read and um have for my collection this is chris mckinney's midnight water city and this takes place in the future in kind of an underwater um type city like after an asteroid nearly um miss earth and i think it has to do with kind of like a neo-noir type um story that I'm really excited to be able to read. I really love the cover and I really love the premise of this particular book so I'm excited to get to it before the end of the month. Probably by the time that this um, video goes up I'll probably be well into this um, since I, I'm um, moving it into my currently reading list pretty soon after I finish up a couple of other books. So the next book is an older title that I don't know if a lot of people on booktube have read this particular novel, but it's been cited as um, kind of a dark uh, academia, uh, murder mystery, um, disappearance um, taking place at a, a boarding school in which um, a former student's um, friend mysteriously disappears and he comes back to the school um, um, much later in life to be a teacher at that particular school and uh, has all kinds of mysterious events and being able to find out what happened to that friend. So the premise of this particular book really appealed to me and I started reading it probably a while back but I never finished the book to uh, be able to reflect on it. So this particular book is Shadow of the Lions by Christopher Swan. You can see this is the paperback edition. I'm hoping to be able to get to this pretty soon as well. Like, I really love the premise, and I did like what I've read of this so far, but I think at the time I just wasn't ready to be able to delve into it as much because a lot of dark academia has heavy themes, and this is no exception to the rule. So I'm excited to be able to dive into this a little bit more in, in my review. The next couple of books are considered to be YA. One is a contemporary and the other one is kind of contemporary horror um, fantasy. So I had mentioned uh, both of these in my uh, middle grade and YA book haul for the months of July and August. One is a reread and the other one is new to me. And I'm not going to spend too much time on them because I've already featured them. But Audrey Waite by Robin Dunway is one that I'm going to get to before the end of this month. 
and I'm really excited to be able to revisit it and give it a proper review. The other one is The Undeath Truth of Us by Brittany S. Lewis, and I'm really excited to be able to read this um, really shortly. I, I don't think it's going to take me too long to be able to get to this, but I'm hoping within the next couple of weeks I'll have a review up for it and a, kind of a deep dive to be able to advertise. I've heard very good things about it. So the next two books that I'm going to feature are a, um, a couple of books from Harlequin and their adult romance. First one is one that I mentioned in my previous video that I really wanted to get to um, pretty soon. So this will probably be read within the next couple of weeks. This is Vacation Crush by uh, Yara St. John. And this is part of the Texas Cattleman Club series. I've read a couple of the Texas Cattleman Club series, but I have not read them in order. So it's a little bit more complicated in terms of stuff. But the thing that I like about uh, a lot of Harlequin series is that you can pick up and even if you start in the middle of the series, you may not necessarily have all the context for the characters, but they are able to stand alone. And um, if you're following a particular series, then you can um, just pick up with the characters and you have more of an appreciation of them if you have began with the series quite a bit. So I'm excited to be able to get to this. I've heard a lot of good things about it. So um, I'll probably get to this very soon. The next book that I really want to um, be able to read. And I'm reading the first book in this series um, now, so um, it'll be in my current reading list, but this is the second book in this particular series by Cynthia Williams. This is The Spirit of Second Chances by Cynthia Williams. Next couple of books are considered adult sci-fi and adult fantasy. And I have mentioned these in my book haul uh, video for um, the month of on July and August, um, at least in terms of the sequel for one of them and the other one was a, a feature as a book that is new to me. First one is a series of short stories. This is Alona Andrews, The Kingsman Universe. And the particular stories that are featured in here include Silent Blade, Silver Shark, and Mere Formality. And they all occur in the same um, universe. I believe I had mentioned that these were in separate collections before, but this is a compiled collection, so um, they should be very, fairly quick reads. So I'm, I'm definitely going to get to this this month and be able to re re review it, put it in my um, wrap up for the uh, entire month of September in terms of my reads. The next one is the ja uh, my rereading of The Jasmine Throne by Tasha Suri. So this is going to be a deep dive into this particular series, starting with this book. I'm going to probably be get to, getting to this very soon so that I can give a thorough review on this before I get to the Oleander Sword. And the last book on my um, TBR for the month of September is one that I am very excited to be able to get to. And this is a middle grade title and a highly anticipated sequel and Probably some of you already know um, what this book is. If you followed me um, in any uh, respect in terms of like some of the middle grade titles that I've been able to pick up, this is Amari and the Great Game by B.B. Alston. And as you can see, this, here, uh, this is a really beautiful cover. I read Amari and the Night Brothers and I really enjoyed it. So I'm very much looking forward to what this has to offer and how Amari has grown in her journey since um, the beginning of book one. So we'll get to this very soon and I'm hoping to have that in my wrap up for the month of September. So that is all for my September TBR and now I'm going to briefly go through all of the books that I'm reading at present and some of these I uh, probably by the time that um, my monthly my uh, mid-monthly wrap up comes up I'll probably have finished some of these because I'm pretty far along in some of them and some of them are rereads in the sense of being able to review them and go into deep dives like uh, for books that I've already read. So without further ado, let's go ahead and begin. First book is actually one that I picked up at my local indie bookstore and I have not read the series. And it is um, for the basis of a popular um, Amazon Prime series that has been adapted. Unfortunately, I think they canceled it after the first season, which I'm really bummed about. But I am planning on reading all of this particular comic series. This is volume one of Paper Girls. And I literally just picked this up from my uh, indie bookstore 
at the beginning of this month to be able to dive into the series. So far, I really like it, but I'll have a thorough review of this um, once I finish it, and it may be included in my mid-month wrap-up, which we'll be posting after this video. Next book I'm going to feature, I'm not going to spend too much time on it because I did talk about it in my haul for um, July and August in terms of what I wanted to um, get to, and by the time that um, my mid-month um, wrap-up will be uploaded, I will have finished this. This is Nella Larson's Passing, and this is considered a classic of the Harlem Renaissance. I'm really excited to be able to um, review this in full. Next book is a um, adult romance that I mentioned that I'm going to get to the sequel in my September DPR. I'm reading this right now, and I'm liking it so far, but I'm not that far into it. This is Summoning Up Love by Cynthia Williams. And it's kind of like a paranormal um, ghost um, story. So um, I'm hoping to be able to get um, through this uh, before the end of the month. If not by the uh, time that I do my mid-monthly wrap-up, I'm probably about a third of the way through. And I actually enjoy it so far, but we'll see how it goes. Next book I'm going to feature is one that I probably will finish by the time uh, my mid-month wrap-up. Um, up video will go up and I'm currently reading this at the moment. This is a reread. This is Seven Days in June by T.S. Williams. This Next book is one that I featured in my um, haul, my uh, previous month's haul that I said that I was going to get to both the original book as well as the sequel. I featured the sequel in my wrap, my um, Book haul, my last book haul video and this is the original one so I'm going to um, be reading it and doing a deep dive of it. This is The Coward by Stephen Aryan and this is basically a reluctant hero who um, ends up being able to take credit for something that of a, a battle that um, he was a part of but it was kind of a happy accident in terms of his involvement in it and then he's called upon to um, act again as a hero and he essentially does not want to do that so th the title is apt so I'm excited to be able to um, kind of do a summary of what happens in this novel do a deep dive of it and then move on to the warrior next book is an adult murder mystery time travel romance that I featured in my last video or actually, I featured um, the latest book in the, this particular series that I picked up. Um, and this is the first book that I'm actually rereading in order to do a deep dive into it. This is A Murder in Time by Julie McElwain. And the way that I would uh, describe this series is kind of like a Miss Sherlock meets um, old, uh, um, not Highlander. <laughs> I was very tempted to say Highlander, <laughs> but it's actually like uh, kind of like a... Um, mixture of Lady Sherlock and Outlander. So I want to make that designation. Though I would not be um, opposed to reading a story that has a murder mystery and mixing Highlander, but the, the, this is um, kind of closer to Outlander. So um, it has to do with a, an FBI agent who is trying to solve a murder, gets compromised, ends up going back in time and having to solve a murder mystery um, in the... Um, Let's see the 18 and 1815 so um i'm kind of going back through the this entire series to kind of do a deep dive of it starting with this novel and then going through the subsequent novels to the um, latest one that was um, published i got a couple of these books as galleys from net galley so i definitely want to um, get to that and actually do a thorough review of it but i also bought copies for myself because i love this particular book so much so the last two books are um, considered YA fantasy, and one of them I have read before, but I decided that I would pick it up again and do a deep dive of it this year because this is an author who's writing that I love, uh, like really love and appreciate. And I don't think a lot of people have um, talked about this book on BookTube, particularly in the YA community, which kind of baffles me a little bit because it's such a beautiful cover and such a beautiful premise, and I'm kind of stymied in terms of why it's not um, spoken about e uh, even more than it is. Hey everyone, this is Editing Rose here, um, just to, with a quick interlude. So I wanted to correct something I had said in the original recording of this video. So 
The um, book's name is The Candle and the Flame, and it's by Nafisa Azad. So I wanted to make that distinction um, before we get too far into the video. So back to your regularly scheduled program. See ya. This was one that I picked up um, around the time that it was first released, and I was really impressed with both the world building and the characterization, and I wanted to revisit it, give it a proper review, and be able to um, tell more people about how good this book is. And the last book that I want to feature is also one that is YA, and um, I featured it in my, haul, my last haul video, so I I told myself I would finish this by the end of the month. This is She Who Rides the Storm by Caitlin Sangster. And so this is part of a um, duology, which the duo the second book have has not come out yet, but I'm going to try to see like what this book is um, about and try to determine whether or not it is actually YA. It, like, oh, like this was featured in the YA session, section I had spoken about in my previous video this was a book by brandon sanderson it is a very thick book probably about 500 pages let me see if that's actually true let's see yeah almost 600 pages goodness so like i know that this is probably going to be like a really enriching fantasy like diving into the world diving into the characters and things like that but I'm excited to get to it because I like the premise, but I don't know what the categorization of this particular book is. So once I finish it, then I will let you guys know. So that is it for both my September TBR and my currently reading list for the month. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you like this video. If um, you want to see uh, more content like this and um, get uh, support what I do here, please uh, give a like and subscribe to my um, channel and hit the bell to receive notifications of when I post more videos. Thanks so much for watching and I hope you have a fantastic day.